Locally in high school baseball, surprising Tampa Berkeley Prep is the Class 1A baseball champion of Region 4. Surprising because this is a club that started at the bottom and has battled its way to the top. Tony Edwards reports. This has been a Cinderella year for Berkeley Prep. The Buccaneers opened the baseball season by losing 10 straight to larger schools, but regrouped to win 17 of their next 19 games, including the Class A Region 4 title. We knew when we hit the 1A competition, we'd, you know, we'd really get it going. And uh, just playing the 3A schools and better competitions just got us ready for the district and ready for the later part of the season. Berkeley's defense can take credit for the club's renaissance. Third baseman George Blake has excellent range. First baseman Mike Hapel grabs everything thrown his way. Left fielder Charlie Franco keeps the ball in the park. And right fielder John Genewine has thrown out two runners at the plate during the tournament. They've been playing real good defensive baseball. Uh, they've come a long way on that. Uh, we've worked hard on it. And uh, I'm a firm believer of good defense, good pitching, and that's what's going to get us through the tournaments. Sophomore right-hander Greg Gomez has been the Bucks' ace on the mound. He's won 10 of the Bucks' 17 victories. Uh, he's not overpowering. He's got a good curveball. I taught him how to throw a slider. And he's working those three pitches, and he's got very good control. The Bucks don't overpower many teams with their bats, but they do have home run threats in catcher Julian Irwin, a 405 hitter with three home runs, and center fielder Gary Wilson, a 350 slugger with four round trippers. This weekend, Berkeley Prep hopes to continue its Cinderella story by beating St. John's Country Day for the Class A Section 4 title. In Tampa, I'm Tony Edwards, Newswatch 8 Sports. Rowdies will wrap up a group with the area's last hope, but the Buccaneers lost the Class A title match today to Miami Loyola 2-1. to one. Tony Edwards files this report from Al Lang Field in St. Petersburg. Berkeley Prep scored its only run in the second inning. With runners on first and second, Charlie Franco bunts the ball back to Miami pitcher John Lopez, who throws the ball past his third baseman in the foul territory, scoring Mike Happel. Here's my kind of ball player, and you think Pete Rose hustles. Watch Berkeley's John Genuine try to beat out a bouncer to third base. Good try, John. Watch this move by Berkeley catcher Julian Irwin. He catches Charlie Gonzalez napping on first base, but Irwin isn't happy just catching Gonzalez off the bag. He runs out to second base to direct the rundown. Here's how to get out of a jam with runners on second and third and only one out. Berkeley's George Blake bunts the ball in the air, which is snared by Miami's John Lopez, who fires a bullet at third base for the double play. Watch this beauty. Carlos Valdez hits a bullet in the gap, but left fielder Charlie Franco is there. Now the runner on second was moving on the play. Franco fires a third baseman, George Blake, who thinks it's a runner on third who is off the bag. But with a little help from his friends, Blake doubles up the runner at second. Miami clinched the Class A title in the sixth inning. Ernesto Abreu tags a sinking liner the right field, which John Genuine is unable to come up with, and a Miami runner scores from second base for a 2-1 victory. In St. Petersburg, I'm Tony Edwards, Newswatch A Sports.